Hi all, welcome back. Now in this section, we are going to see the various Azure support options. So you need to click on the left top corner over here and go to help and support. Now here you can see the various options are there. Okay. And these options can help you and also this community is over here. So this can help you getting solution to the basic simple problems which you're facing. For example, uh, or, or, or if in case you're, you don't know how to use a particular service, let's take an example if you don't know how to use uh, or, or how to create a Azure Blob Storage. So you can go ahead and click on documentation, you can explore the documentation part and that would, that should resolve the problem. But if you are having some particular issue in terms of how to work with Azure Storage Service, you can also look at the MSDN forums. So these are the forums which are avail available in which you can look for the common issues. All these uh, problems, Microsoft Q&A, Stack Overflow, Azure Support, all these are forums available where you can get the help on the common problems. Now, if you have a proper support plan in place, you can go ahead and create a new support request. So, for example, if I am an organization, I have a contract with Microsoft Azure for a proper support, I can go ahead and click on this new support request and fill up all these details, uh, billing related problem or subscription, uh, subscription management technical. So you can see this option service and subscription limit quotas. So by default, there is a quota set for uh, a particular resource and the subscription. But if you want to increase the quotas, you have to go ahead and raise the request through this option. Similarly, there are other support plans. If I click on support plans and if I go ahead, this is my subscription. So, so as of now, I'm using the basic subscription and, and all these part you can see. I will not be getting a technical support ideally uh, because I'm, I'm just in the basic plan. But if I go ahead and upgrade myself to, to, to developer or upgrade or professional direct, then these kind of features will be available. I'll get the case severity uh, support response time will be good from Microsoft in resolving those issues. Now, if let, let's try to see the other option. If I click on service health, Okay, so this is the page where I will be able to see if there are any issues with the underlying services which Azure is offering to you. So as of now, it's not showing as any service issue. You can, you can click on the plan maintenance over here and, and try to see if there are any maintenance activities that are scheduled. If you can go ahead and click on health advisory. So all these are the options which uh, if you have uh, infrastructure set, the environment set, you'll be able to see over here. Now uh, let me try to show you.
okay now I have the resource created so one two three start okay now I have the resource created you can see out here so let me try to go to the help plus support option again now and now I'll go to service health and let me go to the resource health over here okay so you can see the resource is written it's green everything is good and if you go to the health history over here you can see all the logs will be mentioned out here so we are just trying to see how this works out uh, how the help and support and what all options we have for easy 900 just the basic understanding is needed so in this way uh, we can go ahead raise the support request see our uh, service health for the resource and we can also go ahead and create the alerts we can go to health alerts and, and create service health alert for the resource and, and so in that way we can create the alerts as well so we just wanted to go through the different support options which are available in Azure thank you and we'll connect back in the next section